Thank you all for coming out today. January 6th was a tragic day. And I've spoken and written about it extensively. I, I have nothing to hide. By God's grace, uh, I believe we did our duty that day. Fulfilled the oath that I'd taken to the Constitution and to the American people. And the Constitution is quite clear about the role of the Vice President in the counting of electoral votes. It essentially says the Vice President presides over a joint session of Congress where the electoral votes that are certified by the states shall be opened and shall be counted. And irrespective of the indictment, I, I want the American people to know that I had no right to overturn the election. And then on that day, President Trump asked me to put him over the Constitution. But I chose the Constitution, and I always will. And I, I, uh, I really do believe that uh, anyone who puts themselves over the Constitution should never be President of the United States. And anyone who asks someone else to put themselves over the Constitution should never be President of the United States again. Now, with regard to the substance of the indictment, I, I've been very clear. I had hoped it wouldn't come to this. I had, I had hoped that uh, uh, this issue and the judgment of the President's actions that day would be left to the American people. Uh, but now it's been brought uh, in a criminal indictment. and I. I can't assess whether or not the government has the evidence to prove beyond a reasonable doubt what they assert in the indictment, and the president's entitled to a presumption of innocence. But for my part, I want people to know that I had no right to overturn the election, uh, and that uh, what the president maintained that day, and frankly has said over and over again over the last two and a half years, is completely false. And, it, and it's contrary to what our Constitution and the laws of this country provide. Our founders had just won a war against a king. And the last thing they would have done was vest unilateral authority in any one person to decide who would be the next president. I dismissed it out of hand, but sadly, the president was surrounded by a group of crackpot lawyers that kept telling him what his itching ears wanted to hear. And while I made my case to him of what I understood my oath to the Constitution to require uh, the president ultimately, uh, ultimately, you know, continued to demand uh, that I choose him over the Constitution. And so in this moment, irrespective of how this case plays out, I, I want the American people to know that I believe with all my heart that by God's grace I did my duty that day. And as I stand for the Republican nomination for president, I want them to know, whatever it means to me, I'll always stand on the Constitution of the United States of America. Look, our country is more important than any one man. Our Constitution is more important than any one man's career. And that's true of me, and that's true of the president, former president of the United States. So you know, we're going to stand on the facts, and we're going to stand by what happened that day, the stand uh, that we took and trust ourselves to the judgment uh, of Republican voters and ultimately the American people. Excuse me, is there anyone to qualify for the first debate? Are you planning to withdraw from the race? I'm very confident we're going to qualify for the first debate. Support continues to surge in. Uh, we haven't offered kickbacks or soccer tickets or uh, gift cards. We're just accepting support at MikePence2024.com, and, and uh, it's coming in strong. So. Uh, uh, I look forward to being in Milwaukee and uh, can't wait to have a debate about the future of the Republican Party because elections are about the future. Thank you, everyone. Appreciate Thanks, everybody. It.